What up, Tiger Garage TV? Yo, welcome back to the channel. My name is Pablo, and this is the Tiger Garage TV. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you being here. I work, own, and live here at the Tiger Garage. It's a little tire shop located in Santa Ana, Southern California. And uh, we do tires here, and I love working on cars. Anything car related is what you will see here. So let me show you what we got today, though. Today, we got a special one 2020 Ford Ranger. Check this out. Check this out. Bone stock 2020 Ford Ranger. Going with the level kit, going with tires, and uh, making it look a lot better. It just, it looks small like, like this, you know? For some reason. Don't get me wrong, it's a good looking truck, but you pick it up looking like that stock from the dealer, and it even makes the truck look small. So we're knocking out the two and a half inch leveling kit for the front we're doing 30 he went with a tire that's just a slightly slightly lower slightly shorter just so it won't rub in the front because when you put the 32s although they look really good you get a little bit of rubbing there's just no way around it um actually there is a way around it there's a kit that they've made for it which when i finish up that video i'll link it up here that way you can take a look at it um it's actually a special kit just for these Rangers that um, gives it a little bit more space. That way you can throw the 32s, you get no rubbing at all. Cut. All right, let me interject here. What's the difference between this one and the other trucks that we've done before? I recorded this video about six months ago, so, you know, we've done a few of those. Lifted already, leveled trucks, uh, same thing, same style Rangers, right? Uh, difference is... The other ones have been 17 inch wheels. I decided to post and record this one because this one came with 18 inch wheels, which makes it a little bit different. Seven, with 17 inch wheels, you have a different options when it comes to tires. With 18 inch wheels, it's a little more limited. It limits what brands, what models, um, in terms of size. And the reason being, if you go a little too big on tires, it starts to rub and it rubs in the front, rubs, could possibly rub in the back. But that crash bar in the front is the first thing that you're gonna touch when you come to, you know, making, going bigger on tires. The customer was really big on this case about sticking to the same size, which was the size that come with, they come with originally, it's 265, 60, 18. That's the original size that they come with. And we went ahead and stuck with that same size, okay? so. Just wanted to interject. We went with the same size in terms of tires, but the difference is the 18 inch wheels versus 17s that we've done in the past, right? So get back to the seat. Let's get going. Let's get going on this baby. Check this out. 1,621 miles. Homeboy just got this truck. That's why he's anxious to get it back already. Um, it's not even 2,000 miles. And, uh, and he's already getting some work done. Trust me. He's going to love it though when he gets it back. Let's get to work on it and and let's get to work. Let's get to work. Let's get to work.
All right, here's what we got so far. Check this out. Tie rod comes off. Speed sensor comes off. It's hanging over here. Upper ball joint disconnects. The brake line, I just loosened it. I just break this off, but I just break the bracket off. But I don't disconnect the brakes. Honestly, I don't think I have to. The two lower nuts here for the strut come off. They're sitting over there. And the top nuts for the strut also come off. So, but I leave one on. As you can see, look, it's already loose, ready to come. The strut is ready to come out. That's basically all that has to be loosened up. Once I take this off, this knuckle is going to lean forward and could apply pressure to that brake line. So you got to be careful with that part. And, um, and yeah, that's, and that's about it. We got tires baby we got tires so let's do the tires next front end is done nice and lifted i'm not going to show it to you till the end and uh well you probably already saw it from the intro whatever so what tires did he go with let's check these out so let me show them to you we're going from this baby nice regular bleh, tire to these babies you Ooh. Man, they look good. Nice, fat, meaty. These are the Cooper Discoverer Rugged Trek. Good looking tire. Nice, aggressive look. <clears throat> A lot of rubber on there. Versus these older ones. Just plain, simple, round, stupid, ugly tire. It's not a stupid tire. It's a good tire. It's a great road tire. But this is a pickup truck. You don't want a road tire on a pickup truck. You know, you want your truck to look good. So, let's throw these babies on. There she is. There she is. Ready, good to go. Those wheel adapters, look at that baby. Those wheel adapters really help just to stick out the tire just that much more. And man, that looks good. I love it. Check that baby out. She's off to alignment, so 
Let's send her out. Oh, here's a key thing too. Does it, does it rub? Let's see. Now, does it rub? That's what we are here to see. We got plenty of space back here. Check that out. No rubbing. What about here? Plenty of space there. Now, this is an 18 inch wheel. The tire is actually a 30.6 overall diameter. So it should more than clear. And it absolutely does. All right, let's send it out to alignment. Let's get out of here. We'll be right back. Yo, she's back from alignment. Let's go take a look at it. Let's go take a look at it. Look at this baby. Look at this thing. Woo woo. Good. Good choice on those tires, man. I really like those tires. And they look rugged, still all terrain, so it's perfect for the road. And they look freaking aggressive. I've never used these, to be honest. The Cooper Rugged Trek, Max Trek, two and a half level kit in the front. And bam, ready. He's already got the tonneau cover in the back. And LEDs. Blue, those light blue LEDs in the front. So, baby already looks good. At night, they shine beautifully. Man, I really love this thing. And honestly, with this size tire, this is the 265 60 18. You get no rubbing in the front. No rubbing at all. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you being here. Thank you for watching the episode. Truck went home, customer was happy. Um, it's out there somewhere still. I think that guy lives out in LA somewhere. Um, so that truck is still out there driving around. Um, you know, looking fine as hell out on the street. So thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you being here. I'm gonna post the Instagram up here and then I'll post my Instagram up here. Go follow those two accounts. I'm pretty active on social media. I've died down a little bit, but I'm gonna start being active again with social media. Um, you know, I like the interaction with customers and stuff like that. So I appreciate you for doing that. All right. Let's cut the video short here. Let's get out of here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Oh, one more thing. Help me support the channel. Use those links down below. Anything that you purchase through those links helps support the channel. So I appreciate you for that. All right. So let's get out of here. Cut the video short here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. That thing looks like a beast. I appreciate you. Let's go, Ed. Let's get to work. <laughs>